Good morning to all of you. Uh, in the worst situation, worst situation of the last two years and more than three to four months now past the corona period. This may be the opportunity to the students and to the also the teachers to learn, to educate and to well acquainted, well aware with the e-learning system. But it is uh, somewhat difficult uh, for the students as well as for the teachers online education. Though we are trying to this semester see how the meteorological science is useful, how it is utilizing in the agriculture, that is the science in which the meteorology aspects is used. The meteorology relevant to the agriculture, that science is called as agrometeorology. Under the branch, agriculture meteorology in agricultural, different universities across the nation and also the Asia, there is a branch, agriculture meteorology and physics, in which the MSc and PhD courses are designed. And according to that, the courses friends, this is the problems in the internet connectivity and all these things. So again, we are going to continue. So the meteorological science relevant to the agriculture, it is the agricultural meteorology. It is uh, the brands in agricultural universities, Asia, across the nation, and uh, some universities have the faculty, MSc, PhD courses is running. Under the uh, MSc, PhD courses, different courses related to the agrometeorology there. And I'm going to uh, cover the uh, different aspects uh, of the meteorological aspects related to agriculture. Under the agrometeorology and crop weather forecasting is one of the codes uh, in which we are going to see, going to cover the different content. If you have seen on the screen, there is a two photographs. That is, one is the earth, and another is the uh, some forest. Oh, there is some fog is there. So this showing the title is the eight Indian states highly vulnerable to the climate change, and this report uh, is published in 1922 by. Climate Vulnerability Assessment for Adaptation Planning in India using a common framework committee and um, the eight states, that is Northeast Indian states, Jharkhand, Mizoram, Odisha, Chhattisgarh, Assam, Bihar, Arunachal Pradesh, Bengal, West Bengal are the most vulnerable, highly vulnerable to the climate change and the uh, medium vulnerable or middle vulnerable is the Machal Pradesh, Telangana, Sikkim, and Punjab states. And low vulnerable like Maharashtra and Andhra Pradesh and other states. So, there about all the across the globe and also the India, the, uh, climate change has have seen their effects. And we are also in Maharashtra from last four to five years, every year the episode of the hailstorm is happening. Severe hailstorm is happening and uh, crores of uh, rupees uh, losses was found due to the hailstorm, particularly in the pomological sector and the horticultural sector also. 
So, uh, in this regard and in this connection, the uh, interconnection between the weather, climate, the agriculture study is very important. I will try to the, uh, cover the different aspects, different uh, contents related to this in the different lecture series one by one. And uh, I will try to share with you uh, through the YouTube. So, in the uh, unit first, agrometeorology, young scope, development, in relation of crop, uh, environment, then atmosphere, composition, bearing, then uh, radiation. That is, you know, uh, universally, source of the energy is the sun. How is radiation receiving to the earth? the crop canopy, how it is utilized, and so many things. So, likewise, we are going to try to the different aspects related to solar, uh, solar radiation, energy, per, and the crop. Then, temperature, within the canopy temperature, the profiles, and uh, how it is um, significance, how it is non-significance, how it is affecting on the crop, Transmission from growth development, disease based development, and so on. And uh, how to modify uh, the plant environment that is, eco climate, micro climate, how to modify which will be congenial, which will be useful to the growth development and uh, ultimately uh, the yield of that is the quality and, uh, and the quantity also, how it is increasing is our aspect to managing modification of the uh, plant environment. And also, the uh, weather forecasting nowadays, uh, Indian Meteorological Department has uh, very well uh, equipped and also the uh, technology has developed. And uh, the uh, Indian Meteorological Department get the good success to forecasting uh, of the short, medium, range and now forecasting uh, in India, particularly all the uh, sectors and also uh, it is only some uh, lacuna and the required to the achieve the target to long range forecasting about the monsoon rainfall and the unseasonal rainfall uh, at a part, uh, particular place is not be till today able to give the forecasting on such uh, point of view. So in future, it may be getting hope so, and how it is uh, types of forecasting, how it is uh, forecasting is developing, how we work out the forecast and uh, different aspects we are going to see one by one. And so as an academician and in the academy, there is a frame in the frame there is a teaching schedule, and also I am going to uh, share with this slide about the uh, textbook which is recommended for the study. And uh, this textbook, see if you, if you are going to uh, through this study, uh, through this, the books will getting the deep and deep and more knowledge about this aspect. Uh, I am not. Uh, Claiming that uh, the, all the lectures after listening my lectures and uh, after attending my lectures, you will be getting all these things, but uh, it will be support to you understand the subject content. And if you have gone through these textbooks and uh, reference books, then definitely will be clarify, will be understand each and every um, content, each and every topic, subtopic this course uh, so uh, i am uh, i have uh, i did uh, some little contribution in the agricultural meteorology uh, field through uh, publishing the books this is uh, for ready reference for you uh, one is the chromate of handbook of agrometeorology second is the, uh, the uh, Two dec uh, one decadal research of the Department of Agriculture and Meteorology. Then uh, uh, newly published this book in this year, that is Weather and Climate Monitoring and Prediction System in the context of Agriculture, Bell Prediction. And second one is the Hydrometeorology. 
this year publication of this book and also for the uh, local or marathi uh, mother language uh, audience or the readers they have uh, this books are the good the kushi homan satra and pausa sen satra vidyan these books are published by the continental prakashan pune and vatavaran uh, badal kushi homan salla sangra and kushi homan salla it published by the university publication these all books are available uh, on website uh, online Um, online uh, like the amazon then book ganga clip card is available i hope uh, this information will be uh, definitely beneficial to all of you thank you very much